I were working on a, at a brewery today. It's, uh, condensing in it to a chiller. And it's running at 45. It went a little colder. aren't working that good, but a couple of evaporator coils and a little, it's a small chiller barrel, the flow switch, the expansion valve. They run the beer through it, the hoses. Off the product and it goes back out there and this is the reservoir down below but this is usually piled up with uh, barrels I'll go up on the top okay this is the condensing unit to the chiller the beer chiller videos a lot of young guys uh, are you know they want to learn you know they got you know people from all across the country even in England you know, it's good I help them out it's, they're learning my techniques <laughs> okay yeah it's a little low on gas uh, I've got force and die in the system so I'm going to check downstairs uh, the expansion valve and things like that in a couple minutes. But it looks, I checked up here with the fluorescent light. No, not yet. It looked, everything looked okay up here. I'll, get that, I'll go downstairs and I'll check down there. Put gas in it. But, uh, we got fluorescent dye in this system. That system's a little low on gas. liquid slowly into the suction accumulator you put the scroll compressor on this and the, the can that was on here died a couple years ago it's a five ton unit it works pretty good it tends to Start hard, you know, and and end hard, you know. Starts with a bang. But I got you can see the liquid freon is uh, frosting, and the liquid falls to the bottom of the suction accumulator, and gas comes off the top of it. That way you don't put you don't put um, liquid directly into the compressor. Suction pressure is 34, and the head pressure is 233. It's um, refrigerant 404, and this Superheat. Why are we 
turn line is 39, which is good. That means that the compressor is getting uh, suction cooled. The evaporator looks pretty cold, but it's a chiller. dot in the center of the sight glass is nice and purple. That means it's a very dry system. That's a very good sign. Uh, and the sight glass is full now. Pretty healthy condensation coming back. It's not going on the compressor. Now here's my um, uh, fluorescent dye kit. Keep an extra set of glasses in case I'm with somebody. But I went around the system already, looking for leaks. You can see that the fluorescent dyes in the refrigerant. do on this this system is because the evaporator is running so cold I had to put a, a crankcase pressure regulating valve on it to hold back the refrigerant so that the compressor wouldn't overload Look it downstairs now. All right, we're down to 34 degrees on the chiller and the walk-in cooler they keep, they keep that at 43 degrees That's about, that's, that was a quick one. I didn't find any leaks downstairs or upstairs with the flush and die. It's probably... These are his beer, beer cake, um, distilleries, big vats. It's all piped in. Guy's a rocket scientist. He put the mash in here. Boils. It's all cooking down there. The, the beer sitting in these things has to circulate through the chiller to stay cold, otherwise it gets too hot and goes bad. And you have these temperature controllers on all the units.